Thank you for joining me once again in another tutorial video of science. This is your tutor, the science guru, Mr. Mubiana. Come with me as we learn another examination topic. Yeah. All right. So today we are looking at physics and we are learning one of the important topics in the exam. How to find the period of a simple pendulum. Yeah, are you writing your GCE? Are you writing your grade school? This is the information that you need. Come with me. Examination sample. The diagram below shows a simple pendulum. It moves from point A to B and B to C. It takes 0 0.25 seconds to move. Then, this is a sample of the diagram. Then they tell you to say, find the period. So, you, you tell them to say that period given by the, the letter T is equal to, yeah, is equal to time over the number of oxidation. Do you get that? It's equal to what? Time over what? The number of oxidation. So, before you do anything, listen. Before you do anything in physics, you have to collect what we call your data. Okay? So you collect your data, you say T is equal to that, N is equal to that, and T, small letter N is equal to that, and the N, oxidation is equal to that. So you are finding the period. You put a question mark. The time they have given you to be 0 0.25. You say 0 0.25 seconds. Yeah, just like that. Then the number of what? Oxidation you have to find. You have to find this number. Now, a simple way in which we are going to be finding the number of oxidation is this. Whenever a bulb of a, pen, of a pendulum moves from a point to another point, it makes one and a four oxidation. Okay? Then, from this point up to this point again to make 1 over 4. Then if it was going back, it will be 1 over 4 again. Going back, it will be 1 over 4. So a bulb of a pendulum, this is one of the one of the most examinable questions when you are doing it practicals in physics. So listen here. A bulb of a pendulum makes a complete oxidation by moving how many times? Four times. One, two, three, four. You count as one. So it only reached up to here, which is, you add, you say one over four plus one over four. This will give you a two over four. Four, four into two. Get your calculator. This is physics. It's allowed. So you say this to give you 0 0.5 seconds. You have, you have this, which is 0 0.5. Substitute. You say time given it is 0 0.25 seconds. What is, the, what is the number of oxidation? It is a 0 0.5. So this into that to give you 0 0.5. Period is measured in seconds, so it's seconds. Yeah, hope you understand.